All right, we're back at Pound Ridge Golf Club in Pound Ridge, New York. If you remember, we were back here in 2015. We had a fun day there, but times have changed, that's for sure, in our golf yeah. games, equipment, things like that. So today we're actually celebrating uh, their 10th year, Pound Ridge's 10th year uh, as being open as a course to the public. Uh, super excited to be back. Hopefully we're gonna get this drone up in the air and show some great things today. And it's a Pete Dye design, right? Yeah, it so. is. And an interesting fact, it is the only Pete Dye design in the Empire State. That's right. Uh, not, a short, not a long trip at all from New York City. Uh, it took us about an hour to get here, an hour and a half, from, from New Jersey and from New York. Definitely worth the trip, but yeah, when we were here last, we had a great time, super challenging, super beautiful track. When you guys start to see some of the views out there, uh, awesome. So we've been itching to get back out here, and when we got the invite to come back for their 10th anniversary, it's something we jumped right on. Yeah, and just to add to a little bit, today we wanted to bring out a special piece of equipment to test throughout full 18 holes, and that's the AVX Golf Balls by Titleist. I'll be playing the yellow. I'll Frank be on the be white. Playing the white. So, and we're gonna make it interesting, right? What do you want to do today? A little match play? A little match play sounds like a lot of fun. All right, let's do it. So, hopefully, this rain will hold up, and then as we're out there, we'll share with you guys some interesting facts about the course because, like I said, we really enjoyed it last time and uh, itching to get back out there. We'll see you there. All right, guys, so one very interesting and smart thing that Pete, D Pete Dye did, and we talk about diabolical Dye, about how difficult his tracks can be, but one smart thing he did here is that the tee boxes are actually based on your handicap. It's not your traditional, you know, black, blue, uh, go, you know, red. They actually base them based on your handicap, and what Dai did was he designed for each tee box different landing areas, different challenges that are very specific to the skill levels noted by the handicap. So no matter what your handicap, you're gonna have not only a challenge, but it's also not gonna be something that's overwhelmingly difficult for you. You know, where you're playing the wrong tee box and it's a long day. So you're able to be challenged, but also have fun. So if you get to play here, make sure you play the right tee boxes. Your starter can help you with that. And it, like I said, it's right on them. It's based right on the, uh, right on the, the handicap numbers. So how cool is this? First timers here will get a complimentary Pound Ridge uh, book. Course book with all the yardages, but we're gonna have everything up here anyway. But it's cool to have these. All right, so going back to those tee boxes, Mike and I are gonna play granite today. Um, I play to a 12 handicap. What are you playing right now? I've got a 14. 14, so we talk about this on the podcast, guys. Be realistic. I know a lot of times you play some of these, these uh, bigger name courses from the bigger designers. People wanna play from the tips, which are way back there by that clubhouse. And I think again, what, what Pete Dye did here, you know, he designed it for this reason. There are five tee boxes moving all the way up through the different handicaps. And every single one, your, your, your hazards, your bunkers, everything like that is laid out to design specifically for the landing zones for each one of these different tee boxes. So like I said, you're still gonna get the challenge that you're after, but it's gonna be a little bit less of a rough day if you play the right tee boxes. So look for your range of handicap, jump out there, play the right one, and trust me, you're gonna have a better day for it. Check this out, professional course tips. I love this, I don't see this too often on holes, but they pretty much, you have a caddy with you. I like this. First hole, favor the right side of the fairway for the best view of your second shot. A right side pin placement will re require precision on the approach. Does that help you, Frank, or what? <laughs> we'll try, <Yeah>. anyway. <laughs> All right, man, let's see who's got the honors. All you, take us out. All right, first hole. Pushed it right onto another fairway, but it doesn't matter. Recovered with the green irregulation. All right, like you said, diabolical die, right? So for all you who are not familiar with Pete Dye's work, Pete's Dye, he, he, he's designed at least 77, almost 80 courses, which is pretty ridiculous. Yeah. And the list includes places like the Straits course at Whistling Straits, the River course at Black Wolf Run, the Stadium course at TPC that we see at the Players every year, the Ocean course at Kiowa, Harbor Town Links, Wolf, uh, Wolf Creek in Vegas, Crooked Stick, Casa de Campo, Teeth of the Dog, yeah. uh, and this beautiful gem, so. And like I said, it's the only one in New York, so if you don't want to travel too far, if you're local, you want to play a Pete Dye design, this is your spot.
Connor ate me to death on that hole, so now Mike's two up through two, so I've got some work to do to get back in order here. Otherwise, I'm gonna be chasing him all day. Five iron pitching wedge on this hole. You gonna listen? Listen. You gotta listen to your caddy. You got it. The one cool thing about Pete Dye is he knows exactly where players are probably gonna put their ball. Hence the bunkers right in the landing zone. One of the great challenges here uh, is there is not an even lie to be found. So you're gonna be hitting either a ball above your feet, below your feet, down angle, up angle, all day. Challenges every part of your game. Kick right. Oh. Wrong way. Dude, it's supposed to come right off that hill. Look at <laughs> All right, guys, we're three holes in, so I want to talk for one second about the AVX. Um, truth be told, this is not my first time playing it. I've got about two run rounds under my belt. I think it's Mike's first round playing the AVX. But anyway, we'll see what he thinks about it in a second. Um, I talk about it on the podcast. So far, I've been loving it because, you know, if you listen to the podcast, I like to play a softer ball. Um, I've switched, bounced around over the years, a couple different ones, but I love the performance of a premium ball like the Pro V1. So the fact that they've added a softer ball in that lineup is something that makes me feel a little more comfortable because I, I feel like I'm not sacrificing anything in ways of performance. It's an ultra premium ball, but it's also softer. So for me, most important part of my game is feel 100 yards in. The ball feels great. Um, it's a little bit lower trajectory. I'm not super concerned about extra distance. I'm just more so wanting that scoring from 100 yards and in. Feels great on the putting surface. Feels like I can control it. Uh, so, so far, I've been loving it. Uh, if you're the type of person that, that is playing a Pro V1 or Pro V1X and you're looking for something a little bit softer, I think you're the person who should try it. If you're, if you're just performing well with the Pro V1 and Pro V1X and you like it, no reason to change. Those are, two, those are great balls if, you know, for, you know, all the performance and what they do. But if you're looking for something just a little bit softer, it's worth picking up a sleeve and trying it. Uh-oh, egg whites and chicken strikes again. And the funny thing is, I couldn't fit a pound of egg whites on my wrap, so I had to do half in the tub or half on the wrap. <laughs> Whatever gets you through the round, right? Sure. Pete Dyack really messes with your head. So we've got a drivable par four. The middle of the green is only 243. The back of the green is 263. And the front is only 226. So the smart play here would be uh, to hit a hybrid because this tree, my, my miss is, is left to right. I always play a cut. So of course, Pete puts the tree right there. I think he knew I was coming today. <laughs> so I can't really physically draw around this tree. So I might have to play a lower club or do I just hope for the best and go with driver? What do you think? Let's no, drive this No tree. guts, no glory. Let's do it, let's do it. Goodbye. Little wind up there, huh? Remember, this is match play, so Mike putting that one OB makes me have to play this one conservative because I desperately need a hole back, so I'm going five iron. holes deep what do you think of the AVX so far for you? AVX feels really good especially on the putting surface I know you agree with this it's uh, the ball just rolls really nice off the face of the putter I feel like I can control it better and I'm rolling it much better on the green so another interesting little tidbit about this course uh, Mr. Wang, who's the owner here, who we interviewed way back on, I don't even remember episode what episode. Episode 88. Episode 88, this guy's got a good memory. Anyway, successful businessman, hugely passionate about the game. He worked very closely with Pete Dye uh, during the whole you know, concept of the course. Uh, interesting fact, his sister is Vera Wang, the, uh, the famous designer. So really a uh, really great, hardworking, successful family. kind of gives us our own US Open here a little bit, right? Look at this. Not as bad as Shinnecock, but. Which is happening what? Right now. 
Yeah, well, about tomorrow. Probably, probably about an months. hour from here, two yeah, hours? Yeah, easily. All right, I gotta go low. Learn anything? Flop it. Can I get that up and over? I can. I can flop that. <laughs> I can flop it. Did you see it? <laughs> <laughs> it's about a hundred yards into the woods on the right. Is it really? It came out low and hot. Look at this big boy drive. 50 yards out on a par four. We gotta see what the men are made of with these. <laughs> A nice AVX green touch. Like it. Yeah. Feels good. Love. Nice one. Good speed. Oh. Oh. Take the car. Come on, one time. Gotta play this one smart. Par five. Woods running down the hole right side, very reachable, about 200 yards out. It wraps up into the, to the left. So if you don't have a nice, you know, if you're not able to follow that line, you gotta hit something less than a driver on the tee, even on a par five. So a lot of strategy at play here. You can be very reachable in two. Guy's got some wood to cut now. I do not have the same driver prowess as you, my friend. <laughs> I'm going to play the smart play here. I want to duck hook here, that's what you're doing. No, make this a three shot hole. Good play, good play. Nice and safe, Just positioning, just position. See the other challenge out here, you look at all these moguls, right? Like I said, there's not a flat lie out here. So I'm not too bad, I'm 214 out uphill, but I'm on a downhill slope. So I don't know about getting my three wood on there. I may have to play it again, another layup. Yeah, these moguls are no joke. There's no flat lies out here, so that's, that's a challenge. The challenge is your game, that's for sure. Par five, and Mike is 164 out with his drive. <laughs> oh, work, no. work. Oh, no turn. What, 10? Through 10. I'm, and I'm up one. Mike is up one through 10. We are getting lucky out here with the weather. It has looked like rain all day, but it's holding off. So another pretty, pretty par three coming up. Look at this. See down there? Again, the verdict still, the AVX feels good all around. I don't, I mean, off the tee, I got plenty of distance. But for me, I just, I'll keep reiterating it. Everybody's game's different, so you gotta try it. But for me, it's that, that soft feel 100 yards in. Feels great on the greens. Um, I'm liking having the softball today because these greens are lightning fast, lots of undulations. So still leaving a lot of shots on the table, missing a couple putts, but I can't blame it on the ball because it feels good. Hey, that's one way to get down that hill. Yeah, that's one way for sure. I almost tumbled. Go right in at the red stake. And that's where I'm loving that soft touch of the AVX. Not bad. Not bad, that's one way to get out of there. All right, putting for par. <laughs> All right, so hopefully you guys are checking out some of these scenes. This is a beautiful track, but a challenging track. Anyway, a couple of the things that I found out about it, and I just kind of pulled these up before we came out of here, like stats on the course. Um, Length Magazine rated best new courses uh, in the top best new courses in 2008. 
Um, this is one of my favorite ones. Uh, it was in Golf Magazine's top 10 courses you can play, number two in 2008. But that's the key here, you can play. This is, don't forget, this is a public course. The price isn't bad either. And the price for isn't bad. What was the price, did you see? Uh, about 150, right? 150, I think for a weekday round. I think in the weekends it goes up to two something. You know, but for Pete Dye course, like I said, the only one in New York, it's, it's worth the trip, it's worth the play. Okay, we're here at the 15th hole, and if you remember, I talked about this hole on the podcast uh, last time we were here in 2015. Probably one of my favorite holes because the green is so thin and it runs left to right. And behind it, I'll show you in a second, is a wall of rock, and in front of it is all of this carry. So there's the rock, the green runs this way, and then you have all this carry. So the landing zone is probably Maybe 20, 30 feet, max. I just hope I don't hit that rock again like I did in 2015. <laughs> <laughs> so close. All right, so let's talk about distance control. Another reason why I love playing this ball, but this was the rock that we were talking about. And last time, when you hit it too long, you're hitting it, you're bouncing, you're ricocheting, no one knows where you're going. If you're short, you know where you're ending up. But Frank and I, we got nice and tight in there. I All right, after two pars, Frank is still up one with three to play. We're getting there. Gonna have to uh, get in his head a little bit now. I used to love playing the Pro V1. You know, you're always happy when you find one in the woods. <laughs> Whatever, mm. but uh, I, I don't know. I don't think there's no, any going back for me. That's really? Like, you're an AVX guy I'm now? I'm an AVX guy. I like it. I, don't know, I like it. Yeah. I feel like I'm getting the same performance with a little softer feel. I mean, what more do I want? Yeah. Well, Mike hit the fairway. It's the wrong fairway. Ooh, it looks good. And we have our first birdie, ladies and gentlemen. Beautiful, hit one off the fringe, dropped it in about a 20 footer. Now we're all square through 16, two holes to go. 16, oh, shit. <laughs> you almost killed us. So, through 16, two holes to play, we're all square. Pete Dye's gonna give this guy a nightmare right now. Get out. This is where it's won, right here, what do we got? Uh, we're 40 yards off. No trouble, right? Got a win. Look at that nasty green. Oh, he left the money putt short. And we are all square going into 18, ladies and gentlemen. All right, 18. We're even. All square in the match. Hardest. Actually, second hardest hole in the course, but look, all left are all these bunkers you do not want to be in. They're pretty short, so hopefully we can muscle it past it. Fairway right, Frank. Stay right. It's long. It's about 441 yards, so may the best man take it. Quick last note on the AVX. I'll tell you what, I am liking the lower spin off the tee. Um, helps me control it a little bit more. I'm not... You know, wasn't super huge on the idea of a lower trajectory ball, but um, I'm having no trouble with it there, and I'll take that little bit lower spin. So, tee to green so far, loving it. I like it. Oh. Soft fairway, looking good. good I like right? that, yeah, that's yeah, perfect. That's nice. yeah. <laughs> All right, we're both two here, he's here, and I'm on that hill in that, some nasty position over there. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Good round. Redemption. Yeah, right?
All right, and that is it. A little redemption. Mike got me on the last I hole. Did. What a way to do it. I did, and it's good to play well here after getting annihilated the first time we played this course. Yeah. So, uh, fun day, despite the weather. Still fun, great course. Fun day, the course was great, the ball felt great. Uh, yeah, so if you're anywhere in the area, I can't recommend enough. Just, just set up a tee time here, do it during the week, save yourself a couple bucks, and enjoy it. But, uh, all right, we got to keep this rolling. We got to roll into the next you one. You got to roll into the next one. Bragging yeah. rights. Next yeah. time we got to play for some trophy, something good. And we, we finished just in time because now it's starting to rain out there. We got to go dry this camera off. Yeah, let's get out of here. All right.